The iPhone 4S went on sale in America, Europe, and Australia on October 14th of 2011. But it wasn't sold in Hong Kong until November. It wasn't sold in China until January. However, thanks to scalpers working through the gray market, Chinese consumers were able to purchase the iPhone 4S on October 15th, just one day after it was released in the United States. A gray market is the trade of a commodity through distribution channels which are unofficial, unauthorized, or unintended by the original manufacturer. However, it is still legal, so the government can do nothing about it. The scalpers buy as many iPhones as possible on release days in these countries, then bring them to Hong Kong overnight. Once in Hong Kong, Chinese consumers will purchase these scalped iPhones at extremely high prices, sometimes twice their original price. One scalper, Mr. Lo, who is known as the master of the gray market, says that 80% of his customers are from mainland China, while the remaining 20% are from Hong Kong, Thailand, India, and Vietnam. Mr. Lo and other scalpers sell their iPhones at twice the price they purchase them. Scalpers recruit workers to wait in line at various official release days in countries all over the world. They purchase their products in bulk, then transport them back to Hong Kong to sell. Scalping is a very lucrative business, especially with the product in such high demand as the newest iPhones. In the case of the iPhones, scalpers collect the product primarily from Australia and the United States. The iPhones are extremely desirable to Chinese consumers and has become a part of the new Chinese consumer culture. As the South China Morning Post reported on July 13th of 2008, when the iPhone was first sold in China, the iPhone clearly is no mere electronic accessory, but a force of 21st century globalized culture. If a person doesn't appreciate it, he or she just doesn't get it and therefore deserves to be consigned to the dustbin of cultural history.